The Nostradamus Method of Scrying Nostradamus may very well have been the most well-known seer of all time. While it is widely assumed that he was born with a natural gift for prophecy, it also stands to reason that he had to work on developing his gift to become the legendary seer we all know of today. So, if Nostradamus developed his gift, then perhaps so can we all. One way to develop our natural gifts is to practice them. Nostradamus himself describes his method of scrying in his book Les Prophéties, or The Prophecies. In his own words, translated into English, Nostradamus describes how he began each session by relaxing himself in front of a brass tripod. In Century One of his Prophecies, Nostradamus writes, Seated at night in my secret study, alone, reposing over the brass tripod, a slender flame leaps out of the solitude making me pronounce that which is not in vain. In his next quatrain, Nostradamus writes, With divining rod in hand, I wet the limb and foot, set in the middle of the branches. Fearsome awe trembles my hand. I await heavenly splendor the divine genius sitteth by. So what did Nostradamus mean by this? Scholar John Hogue describes in his books on Nostradamus that after relaxing and when the time was right, he would dip a divining rod into a brass bowl of water and gaze at a flame of a candle and would then receive his prophecies through some kind of trance. A divining rod is simply a Y or L-shaped wooden branch or stick historically believed to have divine powers. So in order to try this out for yourself, all you really need is a bowl of water, a wooden stick, and some privacy. Care to give it a try?